everybody. Welcome back to Teach Me to Science. My name is Saren, and today we're going to be talking about the strengths of acids and bases. First, we'll define strength in a more general term, then we'll talk about strong acids and bases, and then we'll relate them to Ka and Kb values. So what is chemical strength? The strength of a chemical can be defined by how much it dissociates in solution. A strong chemical will completely dissociate in solution, meaning it will completely break apart so there are no reactants left. Here you can see I've shown different chemical strengths with water. In the top example, only one water dissociates. In the middle example, two water molecules dissociate. And in the bottom example, no water molecules dissociate. In reality, all water dissociates at the same ratio However, I'm just using water as a familiar molecule so I can show this example. The very bottom dissociation where no water molecules broke apart is showing a very weak chemical, while the middle and top are showing relatively stronger chemicals. So now that we know what chemical strength is, let's talk about strong acids and bases. Strong acids and strong bases are called strong because they completely dissociate in water. This means that no HCl exists in water, instead only H plus ions and Cl minus ions exist. Remember this means that whatever the concentration of HCl was will also be the concentration of H plus and Cl minus. Now let's talk about what this complete dissociation means for Ka and Kb values. Because the products are highly favored in a strong acid, strong base dissociation, the Ka and Kb values for these will be extremely large. That's all I have today for this video on strong acids and strong bases. If you could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Bye!